Hello, and welcome back to The City Beneath. It is finally done. So let's uh, look at the solution that I uh, ended up coming up with for this. Now, uh, I did have... Of course, this looked like a headache. Uh, I did have somebody give me a hint on the previous uh, video, which was greatly appreciated. So, I don't know, why are things lagging right now? Just restarted the computer. I'll fix it. Hmm. So, yeah, the, the issue was before I was just kind of killing the eyes and then trying to clear the remaining tar. Just hoping that it was in a shape, and if the shape I had wasn't good, you know, instead of stabbing the eye directly, I'd stab adjacent to it to change the parity slightly and keep trying that, uh, hoping that that would work. Uh, but the suggestion I was given was to deliberately block a section. I'm making some moves to try to get these builders out of my way. And from here. We have now well, I guess not completely blocked off, there's still this, but the builders will not start disassembling the walls until they're able to build this. So now we can kind of clear out the rest of the tar. This was the plan. Uh, it ended up being rather messy. So right now I'm just cleaning out all the tar babies in order to try to get cleaner shapes. Make things easier to work with. Fix the trapdoors. This shape was really ugly, so I wanted to move these these builders out. Block them there. There we go. So that looks a lot better. Uh, in general, with the tar, these diagonals are pretty awful. So I was trying to avoid having these diagonals as well. Here, we're trying to clean that up. And we got the builders out. Let's look up this little bit, which isn't great. Alright. Now from here, I believe... I tried to clear everything, kind of going like back and forth. And which didn't end up working out for the was from around here, where I started doing the, the same solution I was doing before, where you just kind of stab the eye, adjust things slightly, uh, stab the eye again, like rewind if it doesn't work out, um, stab the eye again, or stab adjacent to the eye, try doing it again, and keep keep doing that. But because of, um, because of this setup, and the fact that I have much less to work with and much cleaner shapes, this ended up being a lot faster than trying to test while also worrying about all these, these eyes going all the time. see eventually I realized that this little I had a, a thing where I failed because of this so now I'm cleaning that out and basically trying to make that into a, a flat shape so be easily cuttable uh, this is awful when we get these two little bumps like this on a corner that is impossible to clear so I know I have to wait at least one more cycle from here and there we go so this shape is cuttable. And this took quite a bit of time to clean out, or to, to work out. And it was just a lot of trial and error. Again, I still, I'm not a fan of this room. Uh, I'm really glad that it's done. Okay, now we have to wait for the builders to tear down the wall again to get the adder out. 
This part is just for the builders. There we go. thousand seven hundred and seventy six moves uh, which ended up being I think uh, 75th place so good good work all around and we can move on to the rest of the level there are five more rooms to try to find uh, this one I guess I'm in the wrong direction uh, this looks much simpler than what we just attempted Uh, Rocky Hollow 1N, yep, looks familiar. This level was called Rock Keep at first, but we changed the name because it really wasn't much of a keep. There. Uh, the room originally only had one rock giant. Okay, so this is going to make it a little bit harder, I guess. Because we know from this, well, I don't know if it's going to make it harder, but we know from the way this is set up, we need all four plates held down at the same time. We can't cheat the final plate with B throw because we need B throw to be standing over here. In order for the roach to go onto the hot tile. So I think it's pretty clear that we want to start with something like this. Uh, that's not going to do it though. Uh, if I do this, I don't think that's very good because I can't get there either. Can I... I can do something like that. This is a perfect diamond. I can come up here, and this will let me... Well, it'll let me rotate my sword, but I don't think it helps to rotate my sword. Hmm. If I just had the one on me, I'd be able to get around that way. I guess I can do that. The shuffle them up. access to the secret, so nothing there. Alright, so just a little practical exercise. Not bad. Quick! Break that tar and kill the tar mother. But I don't know how. I'm not a delver like you. Ah, okay. Better get ready to fend off some tar babies then. This room. Okay. Present depths 2 north, 3 west. It was hard to choose between this room and the one we ended up using. Right, so we have a time limit to kill the... Um, what's the difference here? We need to clear all of the tar on this one. And we have to hit those to come back. Hmm. So we have a speed potion. 
brain but they don't have a path to me. So does my action make any difference at all? Hitting that does make a difference. Quick, quick! Break that tar and kill the tar mother. thing that occurs to me is it might make a difference which direction I'm moving in or rather which side I'm on in terms of Side of the stalwart I'm on because the stall the, the movement order of the East Tar babies might work out better. So it could just be a case of you lose if you go one way over the other. stop that. And again, looking at the end here, I do need the stalwart alive. Only way I can possibly stop that is to have both doors open and both speed potions gone, I think. <laughs> so really, this is looking like a race.
Of course, uh, this isn't going to work because... I'm going to lose my speed potions eventually. And even if I hit this, I need to come back and drink the potion in order for them to have a brain path for me. Now, I could just sit here on this arrow and kill them all. That's going to be incredibly slow. There's no way this does anything. Killing the brains. Not even close fast enough. So if I can clear all of the tar here. Hmm. I can't go in here until all of the tar on both sides is cleaned up. genuinely don't know how to approach this. So I don't think it matters which side to do first. Uh, just double check, these are the same size, right? Nine across, two, four, six, eight, nine, yep. Same amount of tar, same spacing. This is going to make a difference. What's the problem here? The problem here. to survive. Um, but I don't 
enough time to do that. So now I have to do this. And I don't have time to do anything other than this. I'm never getting through here. Also, the instant I step out here, None of these are brained anymore, so they go this way, which kills the stalwart. Okay, I can... Maybe... Doing that is faster. And I guess we're leaving the brains. But there's no way to clear all of this. So maybe maybe the trick is I need to cut this in a certain way so that the order in which they come to the stalwart changes, which sounds ridiculous if that's true. Why are they... They're not brain, okay. Interesting. Now uh, that was a thing I had not considered. turns. Uh, it's not good because I cannot let any of you get in here. Are we here? That's fine. Stalwart's just put himself in a better position somehow. And I don't think I ever need to worry about that, so I might as well just clean this up. This is the kind of thing that people don't like Stalwart's for. That was hard to predict. Also, the uh, the way in which these car babies are approaching me is abysmal. possible way to fix that. And now I'm thinking, even if 
you were over one more. Is there any possible way for me to make cuts in here that wouldn't resolve in your immediate? Uh, yes, I think I could actually, uh, if you were over one more. Ah, oh, what a miserable room. up in that spot. But I think this is fine. matter of whether it's possible to well whether it's possible for me to survive. Uh which it should be because I think There was maybe a better way to, to handle a bunch of tar babies, but uh, what I was trying to do was this. I guess it's a three wide because you can do this. All right, now the second half we have to do. this room was originally. I lost. Let's um get this 
install it during as much as possible. How many of these are there? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12? Yeah, okay, this might not be doable. Ah, getting more spawn per, per cycle than I can kill, so this is still not possible. Which means I had to kill the brain on the initial pass. And then somehow get the stalwart to not die again, which is just RNG, sort of. Okay, we got up in time. He's not dead, but. better work. Because if it doesn't... I really don't know what else we're supposed to do here. Here's another problem. 
problem. We need one more of you. Not two, one. flat surface. Cutting with the stalwart is a little bit weird. definitely the least pleasant part of that. Uh, the brain tar horde fighting stuff is just regular horde tactics, but having to get the stalwart to end up in a position where he's not just gonna die didn't really feel like something I had any control over. I was just, once I became aware of it being a potential issue, I just kind of kept my eye on it, and then the last couple of things that I attempted, he just happened to be in the right spot, and I could just keep going. So, um, definitely a weakness of stalwart rooms. This row, Budkin. I've been watching your... progress. Oh, very funny. Lowest point is lower than you think. But... So they actually had... both actors in the recording booth at the same time? Slightly surprising. Uh, okay, so yeah, Abyssin Fortress 2 South. I'm glad we changed it from this original version. Well, and what's the issue? I don't have a mimic. Kill the tar, that's or the, the mud, that's not an issue. We can kill the tar. What we're gonna have an issue with here is getting the gel to grow in a particular way. Can I just do this? Maybe one of the other corners will end up being harder, I don't know. Or maybe they just thought that the uh, the room was too easy and it wasn't really very interesting. Uh, interesting room. So I can extract this if I need to. Okay, I'm just going to clear out the mud first each time because... I feel like that's the easiest thing to do. Uh, this time we can clear up the tar without causing any issues. Well, an issue. Okay. My take on this is that the issue with this room is that it's a little bit repetitive and not that interesting.
Yeah. Pretty trivial, honestly. So I'm glad they changed it too. Ah, uh, lighting. This door doesn't have an orb to open it. Orb? Where we're going, we don't need orbs. Completed. Back to the past. Revisit the entrance room of Journey to Rooted Hole, level 25. Can't go that way. You wanted to have 100% rooms explored? Well, now you do. Go that way. Do I? I don't think I do. Hook them dead! Hook them dead! Hook them <laughs> The grab only a true. Uh, how do I get anywhere? I guess I actually don't go through here. You go through the tunnel. Perhaps later we can show you to you. Frozen depth entrance, four different room widgets for temporary x ray vision. I see. Well, they have successfully showed off different ways to have x ray vision. However, uh, I get to cheat by playing a modern engine. It wouldn't have been all that interesting, I think, anyway. I think transparent tar stuff is a huge improvement overall to the game. Uh, actually, that's not good. That's a good Did I start on the wrong... There is no uh, room to the north there. You can make a diagonal move across a tunnel in order to move to the north. Uh, I hit a secret room like that in one of my holds. I guess my only published hold. Ah, this room. The brain makes things more interesting, but this room seems to be tough enough if you don't know the linchpin that we kept it without the brain. Right. Uh, the linchpin. Hmm. Well... If I do that... See, without the brain, what you do is you back off here, and the gel baby stays stuck here, and then you've just cut this off, so it's no longer possible for it to grow here. So I wonder if there's a way to do that where they don't have a path to you? Was 
So what happens if I... If I do that... I mean, they're never going to be connected again. Okay, that was false. Um... Hmm. I was not expecting it to grow there. I know I can clear those. I don't think it helps me to clear those, though. to cut that spot if I want to make the cut into this. So maybe I just can't cut the outside shell here. It's the same. You have to clear all the plates. Oops. How hard is it? If I want to clear all of this... I don't think... Okay, I think I might have just found it. A linchpin? Is to have this cut off. While the, the gel baby that spawns does not have a path to me. Is that possible? Like, is it possible to have a gel baby spawn down there in such a way? Like, if I do that, and even there it's going to grow, but prevented it from growing. The thing is, they're both just going to come out. Okay, let's uh, do some experimenting. Right, that reformed. If we do it again, we can get that shape. What does this look like? Well, if I do that... to avoid cutting two adjacent walls here. Because if we can do this kind of a shape, it'll never grow. Yeah, we'll have babies harassing us, but we won't have... But the problem is, is that first cut does require doing this.
if I I, I really don't want to do that. I'm going to do it because I want to cut that. Okay, what happens if I do this? Same issue. Grab one of these interior checkpoints. Okay, let's grab both of them. If I can figure out how to do this on one of them, then I'll have it done on all of them. I don't think cutting these in advance helps. That doesn't help. Okay, new idea. Uh, that's probably bad. What I really want to do is I want to clear I want to clear Something like this. There we go. I've now cut it in such a way. By letting it grow up here, I was able to cut that side and then this side. So now it's no longer going to be an issue. However, this probably isn't clearable. out the solution. Now, we need to clear it first.
All right. Here is this. And then it's just going to get more and more annoying to do this as we go because we're going to have more babies to deal with each time. And I guess it doesn't really matter which side I start with first. This is where... Uh, no, that's fine. I thought that was going to be a little bit harder than it ended up being. Screw again. Is that a problem? Possibly. This should be cuttable. Ah, uh, here. Oh, no. 
have to get there in time. It's too much stuff. That is clearable. Now I just have to do it while I'm being attacked the whole time. Which is just going to be slow and annoying. Very slow and annoying. Is this? It's this one. Okay, I'm a little bit right? Great. So the options are we either run, we either run to the end. Clear this first. I'll do the other one in time. Yes. Just have that clear. So now I can either clear this and then run for it, or I can um, clear it the same way I've cleared the others. Clear it properly.
I mean, I can just do that. And then take advantage of brain brainedness. Hey, I managed to find a way to do it with only one hole. Well, that would have been a lot better. This stuff doesn't matter. to make sure that, that is on. Oops, let me just get in here. Uh, just get in here safely. I discovered this earlier. Ninety first place, let's go. Uh, is that full exploration for the Undercity? Yes. All right, so I think that just means that we're done. Check for 100% explored. Uh, the villa. I'm missing a room here. Hmm. With the villa. Is it even possible to get back here once you've? I think I'm almost there. Surface air is so crisp it stings my nose. Now this is home. Okay, doesn't look like there's anything I can do there. Hmm. Wait a minute. I've been here before. This is Bomba's... I have always believed in that most na- What's a what? Spy? Spy! Spy! It's a spy! I seize it! Who is that? Beethro Budkin? Hold on. If I... That uh, it wants to be the guy. Die in the last cutscene. Okay, there was an achievement for that. Hmm. But I don't think there's any other way to get out here, because this northern entrance is 
just going to be... Wait a minute. I've been here before. This is... I have always uh, believed... This is going to be... Spy? Spy! Spy! It's a spy! I seize it! I'm going out into duty. Hey, Budkin! Stop right there! I can go back in. So unless there's another building. Oh well. And we can kill the, the guards. I think I didn't do that, if I remember right, on my first playthrough. Hmm. Well. Uh, I'm honestly not all that interested in uh, fumbling around trying to figure out how to get to this last thing. So honestly, I'll probably just look it up or hope that somebody tells me what's going on with this. Because this feels very much like a case of... It's an isolated room, I just have to take a certain set of stairs somewhere in order to enter another room. Kind of like uh, what happened with the Undercity. Uh, and in fact, put the Undercity. Like, where did this take me? Twenty-fifth level. Uh, which is its own thing. Yeah. So that was just there to annoy people with exploration not being complete until you did the Undercity. But, uh, yeah, at a glance I don't see a way to do this and I feel like it's just gonna be annoying stumbling around kind of stuff. Uh, did I miss any other challenges? A legend in his own time, brotherly understanding, changing of the guards, hero of another story, water by the water, the ruins smite mastery. Wait a minute. Uh, it plays the thing. Hold on. Did I just miss out on an achievement? Because I think there was a thing here that... Okay. Uh, it was... Well, where was the achievement? Challenges. Undercity, one west. doesn't say anything here, but hmm, what do I need to do to trigger that? Do I have to enter this room once I've completed all 12 puzzle rooms, in which case I'll have to replay that other one? basically it. There's a few other little things I could be cleaning up, but I'm done all of the puzzles and stuff, so the rest of it's just for the sake of completion. Uh, I may or may not make another video cleaning all that up, uh, but I'll figure that out later, I guess. And in the meantime, I do have some other puzzle game projects I'm wanting to get started on, so I'll see you for one of those next time.